Howdy folks. Um, I set two cameras just in case that uh, one of them go wrong with the sound. Um, yeah, I just activated this one. Um, on the background on my computer, laptop, or not laptop, but computer, uh, niche. And unfortunately, I feel myself obliged to do the same message again. Uh, this time I will read a, a different piece of the Bible. And um, the same, it's actually the same message as Deuteronomy 28. Uh, listen to God and you'll be blessed. Look at the Middle Ages of Europe. It was a uh, Europe was Christian and they became blessed. Uh, they prospered. Well, maybe not every individual, but okay. In, 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 the majority believed in God. Uh, 90, 95 percent of the people believed in God, and Europe was prospered. Okay, there were, of course, there were also um, mistakes and errors. Uh, I agree, I agree. But in general, on average, people were blessed. Europe was blessed. But nowadays, uh, Europe, but also America. Uh, oh, oh, by the way, the Europeans came to America, and they were they grow and were blessed and so on. Of course, uh, rotten things also happened. That's true. I cannot deny it, and I will not deny it. But in general, they were blessed. But nowadays, Europe, Christian Europe, and Christian America turns its back on a God, the God of the Bible, Jesus Christ, Yeshua Hamashiach. And folks. Uh, I have to turn back to, to Deuteronomy uh, uh, 28 again because of the, the, the terror attack in Nice. You can see it here on the Dutch broadcast and news broadcast. I, I just heard it. I just saw it. I didn't know it was ha it happened just all, until I came here. Um, I, 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 I'm warning you again, folks. Why don't you listen to God in the Bible? It's history. It, 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 it's history. It's relevant. I urge you for your own good. Nice will not be the last time if you don't listen to God, the God of the Bible, Jesus Christ. Um, there is an old Chinese saying, uh, I, 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 at least I, I think it was uh, Chinese. It says, people who are not willing to learn from their own history are doomed to repeat it over and over and over again. And that's as actually basically what's happening. The Bible very clearly states in Deuteronomy 28, in Leviticus 27, uh, 26, sorry, that if you listen to God, you will be blessed. And that's true. I experience it. Uh, we see that in, in the kingdom of David. We see that in, 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 uh, uh, in the kingdom of Solomon. And we see that in the Middle Ages, etc., etc., when, when the people listened, uh, of course, the, the Bible is a Jewish book. When the people listened to God, they prospered, they had peace amongst themselves, they grew, they were, uh, 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 became rich, and so on. But when they turned their backs on God of the Bible, things went wrong, exactly as Deuteronomy 28 and Leviticus 26 uh, says it will. Um, the Jewish people, uh, uh, two big, very big occasions, did not listen to God. In the first place, um, that was in uh, around 600 before Christ, uh, and they were uh, taken out of Israel, and they were deported to Babylon, and they stayed there six, six, uh, 70 years. That was the for first deportation. The second deportation happened one generation after Jesus Christ. They did not listen to Jesus Christ, the majority at least. And no matter how much I love the Jewish people, I really love them. They're, they're, they are the chosen people of God who brought us the Bible, who gave us the word. So I, I really love them. I, I, I stand behind them. I support them, etc., etc. But they're very stubborn people. And in, in one sense, that's bad. In the other sense, it's, it's good because it showed uh, us the example of listening, but also the example of not listening to God. And the Jewish people, two major times, did not listen, uh, multiple times, but, but smaller, they had smaller effects. But they two times, big times, did not listen to God. And it was the Babylonic uh, 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 
um, the Bab Babylon of deportation, and just right uh, one generation, 40 years after Jesus Christ, when they rejected Jesus Christ and uh, rejected Christianity majorly. Um, Christianity got uh, the, 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 um, the chance to spread out over the world, but also the Jewish people were then uh, sold as slaves to be spread out all over the world. Why? Because they didn't listen to God. In this case, Jesus Christ. Uh, God sent Jesus as, as, as a sacrifice. They, the Jewish did, people did not listen and uh, 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 they were scattered all over the world. So listening to God, and, and they were, they, they, as God's word says, at Deuteronomy uh, 28 and Leviticus 26 said, they were chased by the sword. They were killed massively, the Jewish people. That's history, folks. That's really history. Now, why, why, for crying out loud, would you repeat the history for yourselves? You can see it also from, from other non Christian uh, uh, civilizations like the Incas, the, 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 all those kind of, the Aztec, etc. Uh, they did not worship God. Also in other countries, they were, did not worship God and were wiped out in, in, in a lot of uh, cases. Um, why don't you learn from history? This whole thing will not stop be stopped the jewish people in in in, in 600 uh, approximately uh give or take a couple of years uh, before 600 before jesus uh, christ uh, they were taken by nebuchadnezzar and his associates and, and uh, uh, that that period uh, of area and god used nebuchadnezzar and the non uh, non uh, uh, god uh, obeying people to take them foreigners out of israel the same thing happens today in Europe and America. People from, and that's what uh, De Deuteronomy also very clearly says, people who, whose language you never spoke, whose gods you never worshipped, so foreign people come to Europe, come to America, and they terrorize you exactly, exactly, exactly as the Bible states in Deuteronomy uh, uh, 28 and Leviticus 26. You can read it for yourself if you don't believe me. I'm going to read a little piece in a moment uh, from Leviticus 26 in this case. People listen to God. It's true. It, it, it's real. It's, it's not fake. Um, if, you, if you don't turn back to God, Jesus Christ, this in Nice, what happened in Nice and in Köln and in London and in Paris and whatever, it will only increase. And I don't want that for you. God doesn't want that for you. I don't want it for you. So please listen to God of the Bible. Repent and turn back to God, Jesus Christ. It's true. Whether you like it or not, whether you believe it or not, that does not matter. It's true nonetheless. And... I don't care if you don't like it. I don't care if you don't believe it. The consequences will be severe nonetheless. Whether you believe it, accept it, or, or etc., believe it or not, that's, that is irrelevant to God. That, that doesn't matter. That has nothing to do with it. It will make that the prophecies in Deuteronomy 28, Leviticus 26 will come true anyhow. It's independent whether you like it or not. It's independent of your believe it or not. It's totally irrelevant to God. It doesn't matter. It, does, it doesn't make it go away, the consequences of your disbelieving and, and not accepting a God, the God of the Bible. The consequences will be this, the same anyhow. God will send foreign people and they terrorize you just as happened in Nice and in Köln and in, 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 in Brussels and wherever. Oh, yeah, recently Brussels, that's right. So you can be stubborn, just as the Jewish people were stubborn in 600 before Christ and were stubborn in the period of Jesus Christ and were taken away and be wiped out. Deuteronomy 28, I, I can read a little piece in a moment. No. I, if you don't listen to God, the God of the Bible, God will allow Satan, the devil, to wipe you out from the face of the earth. God doesn't want that. I don't want that. 
but apparently you want it because you you don't listen to God of the Bible and I don't care if you do and believe it the result will be the same nonetheless so turn back to God because it's true listen to God do yourself a favor and read the Bible and accept it as it is God is real whether you like it or not is irrelevant totally irrelevant God will fulfill his words anyhow whether you believe it or not do yourself a favor accept the Bible God's words as it is whether you like it or not whether you believe it right now or not do it for your own good and and the good of your children and the children's children and so on so on so on um, if you don't listen God will wipe you out just as these parts of the Bible which are referred to mentioned if you don't listen the first time God will increase the the, the severance of the, the 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 pestilences the people who terrorize you uh, uh, the economically etc he will do it seven times over you get a chance to repent if you don't repent it's God will increase it seven times more you get the chance then to to repent to think it over and say okay if you don't listen to that God will increase it again seven times worse more severe so there is a state there is it's trapped it's it's it, or how would say um, God increases it every time seven times more that's uh, what Leviticus 26 clearly says that if you repent and turn back then God will say okay I will Keep the terror from you and and i will bless you again but if you don't listen i will increase that's what god said not me but that's what god said i will increase it seven times more it will be become seven times more severe he will send pestilences he will send terrorists he will send wild animals he will uh, uh, sicknesses your economy will turn back your, your uh, um the fruits on your, your crops will will perish uh, all that kind of stuff your children will be eaten will be taken away from you etc 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 if you don't listen if you don't repent okay I, I'm going to read a little bit of, of uh, Leviticus 26 I'll have to uh, watch on the screen and you can listen to it Here it says, uh, from Leviticus 26, uh, verse 14. But if you do not obey me and do not observe all these commandments, then uh, uh, and if you despise my statutes, statutes, uh, or if your souls abhor my judgment so that you do not perform all my commandments, but break my covenant, Jesus is the, the new covenant, the Berit Gadasha, Berit uh, covenant, new if you break that covenant the, 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 with with Jesus Christ if you break it God will punish you I will uh, uh, do this to you I will even appoint terror over you uh, and waste uh, uh, wasting disease and fever which shall cons consume the eyes and uh, uh, cause sorrow of the heart and you shall sow your seed in vain, for your enemies shall eat it. I will set my face against you, and you shall be defeated by your enemies. Nice, Brussels, etc., etc., etc. The Köln in Germany. Those who hate you shall reign over you, and you shall, fl uh, shall flee when no one pursues you. After this, I, uh, uh, if you do not obey me, then I will punish you seven times more for your sins. I will break the pride of your power. You think you can have a, a power and say, well, we are the, the Western people and we are rich and we are powerful. We are strong army and whatever. And we're doing good. But God will break that uh, 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 pride of you. you. You're becoming proud of yourselves because you think you are strong, but you're not. God will break it. Uh, where was I? 
I will break the pride of your power. I will make your heavens like iron. God doesn't listen. If, if you keep on uh, 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 not, uh, not listening to God, God will also not listen to you. And your earth like bronze. And your strength shall be spent in vain. You will do something, but it will be in vain. For your land shall, shall not yield its produce. We had, a, I'm from Holland. Uh, we last uh, week uh, or last uh, two weeks, we, there was a very strong, uh, uh, ha uh, heavy rainfall. It pr uh, it wiped out a, a lot of a big part of the crops of of Holland, and the farmers were were uh, complaining. Well, well, this and that, and everything is ruined and so on. So they complained with the insurance company. It happened in my own country. Uh, uh, it shall not yield its produce. It was wiped out. Nor shall the trees of the land yield their fruit. It was torn apart by, by hail. Uh, you know, the, the, the baseball si or, or, or uh, tennis ball size hail. God destroyed it. Simple. Okay, 24. Then if you walk contrary to me and are not willing to obey me, I will bring on you seven times more plagues according to your sin. I will also send wild beasts among you which shall rob you of your children and destroy your livestock and make you few in number. God will wipe you out. Simple. And your highways shall be desolate. And if, uh, if by these things you are not reformed to me but walk contrary to me, then I shall also walk contrary to you. And I will punish you yet seven times for your sin, sins. And I will bring a sword against you that will execute the vengeance of the covenant. There is a covenant. If you, uh, uh, Europe has covenanted itself by Christianity to God. And if they disobey that covenant, God will send the punishments of the covenant. <coughs> when you are gathered together with your cities, I will send pestilences amongst you. And you shall be delivered into the hand of your enemies. Nice. Uh, uh, when I have cut you uh, of your uh, supply of bread, Ten women shall bake your bread in one oven, and they shall bring back your bread by weight, and you shall eat and not be satisfied. And after all this, if you do not obey me, but walk contrary to me, then I also walk contrary to you in fury. God will be furious. And I, even I, will uh, chastise you seven times for your sins. Here it says, even and I, even I, says God. I mean, all these things before here were done by, by the Satan. Satan will, will, if you say no to God, then God ha has got to pull his hands back. And the first person who comes in is Satan to punish you. But if you after these times will not listen, then even God himself will start to punish you. And you surely don't want that. I mean, God can, can say no to the devil if you repent over it. So say, okay, they want to repent. Devil, oops, shoo, go away. But if you, after repeatedly not listening to God, then God himself will turn against you. He will strike you. And you don't really want that because there is no defense against God. Here. Even I, that's why God said, even I will chastise you seven times for your sin. God takes it, the, 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 the whip himself. So you shall eat the flesh of your sons. And you shall eat the flesh of your daughters. I will destroy your high places and cut you, uh, down your incense altars the, 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 to, to, the, um, to the idols. And uh, cast your carcasses on the lifeless forms of your idols. People, people worship anything. 
whether you whether it's God or you worship your work or you worship uh, 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 whatever kind of so you can worship anything you can worship science false secular science you can worship it it's it's you give so much attention to it that it becomes an idol you spend more time with that idol than with God God should be worshipped and not the thing that you spend most time on it can be a hobby it can be uh, uh, some kind of music it can be science false science it can be all kinds of things which you pay. it can even be yourself that you think well i'm the guy yeah well, i'm i'm good guy i trust on only on myself well then you become an idol to yourself so and god is uh, 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 in that case if god is 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 taking then he will uh, 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 leave your lifeless bodies on your idols. That's what it says here. And my soul shall abhor you. God will hate you in, in that moment. He said, well, well, I don't like you anymore. God, God is very patient. He, first, he let this previous thing he, the devil does. But at a certain moment, God said, okay, and if you are not willing to listen again now 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 i will t uh, now i will take take uh, the, uh, hold of it and i will do the uh, bad stuff to you um blah, 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 where was i i will lay in your city your i will lay your cities waste and bring your sanctuaries to desolation and i will not smell the fragrance of your sweet aromas I will bring the land to desolate, and your enemies who dwell in it shall be astonished at it. Folks, this literally happened to the Jewish people in 70 and in 135 after Christ, with the Bar Kokhba uh, 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 rebellion against the, the Roman. This really happened. It, 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 it became a historical fact, and it's a warning to you. I will scatter you amongst the nations, just as the Jew was scattered amongst the nations. It really happened again, that's history. And draw you out a sword after you. The Jewish people were killed massively wherever they were. And your land shall be desolate and your cities waste. Uh, Israel was a wasteland for nearly 2000 years, 1800 years approximately. So it became real. It, 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 Israel was a desert in those days. Uh, 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 well, since the 1880s, before that, since, since uh, the 70 after Christ till 1880s, Israel was a wasteland. It was a desert. Then the land shall enjoy its Sabbaths as long as it lies desolate and uh, you are in your enemy's land. And it happened. Then the land shall rest and enjoy its Sabbath. And as long it lies desolate, it shall rest. For the time it did not rest on your Sabbaths when you dwelt in it. This also happened with the with ba Babylonian uh, deportation in 600 before Christ. And you see 600 for Christ and 70 after Christ. So God is very patient. God is very merciful and give you the time to repent. It takes. It may take hundreds of years. Uh, 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 to, to, to turn back to God and to feel mercy and so on, so on, so on. So God is very patient with you. He already is. But from one moment to another, it, it can all change. Say, okay, now I give you so much chances. Sorry, now it's over. Um, well, you, you can read it for yourself. Otherwise, this movie becomes too long. Folks, this really became true. Don't allow this to happen to you. To you, listen from history. This is history, folks. It's not nothing. It's 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 really history. And God uses non-Christian uh, uh, people, like the, the the Islam people, the Muslim people, to come to your country and do what happened in in Nice, and do what happened in Kölle, Brussel, whatever kind of stuff, etc., etc., etc. God will use them as his whip so to say god used other non-christian people to be a whip just like nebuchadnezzar whipped uh, 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 the jew the israelite people 
in their days in the in the Babylonian uh, exile uh, so God uses a non God worshipping uh, 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 people to as his instrument to punish you if you don't listen and that became true in in the time of Nebuchadnezzar with the Israelite people it became true uh, uh, with with the Romans that were used as 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 a whip to towards the Israelite people in in uh, around 70 after Christ and 135 after Christ and it now comes true in Europe and America if you don't repent folks I I, I, I press it on you repent to God Jesus Christ just so that you stay alive it's for your own good it's not, I don't gain anything I don't lose anything over it it's for your own good thanks for watching it's a heavy message but if you don't stop it if you don't repent to God sorry then Nice is not going to be the last one it will be th this is just the start yeah as you heard from Leviticus 26 okay Thanks for watching. I hope you take the lesson and I hope you start to listen to God, the God of the Bible, Jesus Christ. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Hasta la basta.